Hi, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop. Today we will be learning the Track Select Forward tool, which can be found right here. Shortcut is A. I wanted to learn web design too. I want to stop this at I wanted to learn web design too. So I'm going to say A for the Track Select Forward tool. And now I could have an three hours of video after this point. It doesn't matter how much I have or how many tracks I have. But I'm just going to scoot it all over and then just delete that part web, that way. Web design too. I use Another thing to mention about the track select forward tool is that it goes the other way as well. You could, you could do shift A or click on the bottom one, hold down and select the bottom item in your tool menu. And so this is going to select everything from one point onward. So you can move a whole section from this or if I wanted to have, make sure nothing, just take everything from this point forward and scoot it over. So just so you know, it works both ways. Another great use of the track select forward tool is say I'm ready to export this movie. Before I export, I would press A and click here after we are, I would like my export to end. The reason is sometimes, like in the case we're looking at right now, there's a little piece of another movie at the end of your timeline that you've forgotten about. Maybe you've done a lot of cuts on the timeline, but it happens a lot that, that you think you're exporting a movie that's two minutes, six seconds, and 10 frames, but it's actually going to be nine minutes three seconds and 23 frames. You'll have a big space of black and you'll say, what is going on? So as a rule of thumb, before I'm ready to export, I press A, I click here, and you'll notice that that's been highlighted, and then just press delete. So I know that when I do export, that I'm exporting exactly what I meant to. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on the Track Select Forward tool. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.